Researchers at MIT in the US have developed for commercialization the cheapest battery American history. Seriously, this thing is so cheap. It makes energy storage an absolute no brainer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. This battery technology has got me absolutely fascinated. On this channel over the past year and a half, we have looked at many different types of battery chemistries and many different types of technologies. However, this one really stands out for some fascinating reasons. Researchers based out of MIT in the United States say they've invented a new kind of battery for energy storage. It's made from abundant, low cost materials and it could compete with lithium ion batteries, help plugging the gap caused by renewable energy intermittency. So what's renewable energy intermittency? Well, most of you know what that is, but for those of you who don't, it's when, of course, the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow, or it depends on where you are. I mean, maybe you only use solar, right? If you're in a place where it's really hot and you only use solar, then you're not going to have any power at nighttime. So you need energy storage for night. That's why you need battery packs. That's why renewable energy needs batteries. Obviously, wind, sometimes the wind doesn't blow, or at least doesn't blow hard, and so you need battery energy storage. The reality is though, most places around the world, you actually only need about four hours of storage because most places have a combination of both wind and solar. The wind blows harder at night, obviously the sun shines hard during the day, or at least now you can get sun even when it's cloudy. So you can actually charge your batteries even when it's cloudy. A lot of people used to dispute me on this fact, but in fact, it is actually true. So batteries are clearly the solution to the world's energy needs. You just need a lot more of them and they need to be cheaper. Here's a solution. This new battery uses the elements aluminium and sulfur as its two electrodes with an electrolyte made of molten salt in between. Salt's cheap, so is the kind of aluminium that they're using, so is sulfur. The battery is described in a new paper by an international team of researchers in the journal Nature. I wanted to invent something that was better, much better than lithium ion batteries for small scale stationary storage and ultimately for electric vehicles as well, explained Professor Donald Sadaway, Professor Emeritus of Materials Chemistry at MIT. I wanted to invent something that was better, much better than lithium ion batteries for small scale stationary storage and ultimately for automotive use. Now, clearly, this professor is wanting to do what many people have wanted to do, right? Many, many people have wanted to do this. And of course, sodium batteries coming from CATL very soon will be able to undercut in price eventually the cheapest current batteries available for energy storage right now. It's a lithium iron phosphate batteries. But the truth is energy storage still has a long way to go. Lithium ion batteries have been the problem child of the renewable sector. What's the problem? The problem is the cost of lithium has gone up by 700% over the past couple of years. Lithium is good at storing large amounts of energy, but it's getting more expensive because demand has rapidly outstripped supply in a decarbonizing world. And it's comparatively rare in comparison to what these new batteries need Although lithium is mined massively in Chile, China, and in Australia, and soon, of course, will be in many other places around the world, including Canada and the United States. Lithium batteries are also flammable. They therefore can be a bit riskier to transport or to use in hot climates. Then, of course, there's the issue of sustainability. Lithium mining does require a lot of water, and waste chemicals produced during mining can, of course, pollute local waterways. So to get around this problem, these researchers scoured the periodic table for cheap, abundant materials that could stand in for lithium in a new type of battery. Aluminium is the most abundant metal on earth. And these researchers realized it worked. So I said, well, let's make that a bookend. It's going to be aluminium, he said. The team paired aluminium with sulfur, one of the cheapest, most abundant non-metal elements, and sought a non-volatile compound for the electrolyte, the medium through which charge balancing positive ions can flow. 
the team didn't want to use the sorts of flammable organic liquids that can cause dangerous fires. So they looked at a variety of molten salts with low melting points. That's because under low temperatures, a battery doesn't need special insulation. The ingredients are cheap and the thing is safe. It can't burn, said Satterwhite. In other words, these batteries actually can't burn. Even if you try to set fire to them, they won't burn. Experiments show that the battery could endure hundreds of cycles with high charging rates, but at low cost, in fact, insanely low cost. The cell level cost of the new battery is predicted to be less than one sixth of the cost of current lithium ion batteries. One sixth, in fact, less than one sixth. That completely changes the game. Now you've heard me say that before, but one sixth, yeah. Considering the fact that these batteries are currently in the process of being commercialized, well, this is some pretty amazing technology. The team's aluminum sulfur complex isn't the only alternative to lithium ion batteries. Of course, in recent years, researchers have explored batteries using salt, magnesium, glass, various liquids, and a bunch of different kinds of things, which some of I've talked about on this channel. I'll put some links in the description below to some of the different types of batteries that have been developed and worked on. However, this battery in particular has a huge advantage, an unexpected one. The chloroaluminite salt actually prevents the formation of dendrites, narrow spikes of metal that build up on electrodes and can short circuit the battery. If we had started off with trying to prevent dendritic shorting, I'm not sure we would have known how to pursue that, Sadaway said. It was serendipity for us that this just worked out. According to the team at MIT, this new style of battery, small and low risk, is ideal for powering a single home, small to medium sized businesses, or an electric vehicle charging station, but wouldn't be ideal for large businesses or large installations. Satterway and his business partner, Louis Ortiz, have founded a new company called Avanti, which has licensed the patents for this new battery. This is a US made product, and the battery was discovered by US researchers. Frankly, it has insane potential to fully change the energy storage market. Maybe even one day, vehicles, who knows? Maybe this technology can one day be used for EVs as well, I'm not sure. Now, the research team included members from Peking University, Yunnan University, and the Wuhan University of Technology in China, plus the University of Louisville in Kentucky, the University of Waterloo in Canada, Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, and of course, the main research team from MIT, which is in Massachusetts. The work was supported by the MIT Energy Initiative, the MIT Deshpand Center for Technological Innovation, and the ENN Group. Now the team said this, our battery has a twofold economic purpose. First, given the high earth abundance of all components, aluminum, sulfur, and the other components, the estimated cell level cost of our battery is as low as $9 per kilowatt hour, which is 12 to 16% of that of today's lithium ion batteries, 12 to 16%. He said, we also use low grade aluminum what's used in food packaging foil in the negative electrode, and it doesn't result in any deterioration in cell performance. Now, as I said, this battery is currently being commercialized. How far along the team are, I don't know, but I've got to say, this is some exciting stuff. This blows my mind. The price of this battery, wow, absolutely insane. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, but all I can say is right now, I'm very excited. Thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.